In this demo I will show you how you can extend the MDT database with a stored procedure. The stored procedure will be used for generating computer names. By adding a stored procedure to the database I can have computer names being generated from a prefix plus a sequence number. The way we do this is I will create a table and a stored procedure that will help me generate this. So I will open up Management Studio. And in the MDT database, I have created a table called machine name sequence. This is not one of the default. If I go to the design on this, this is how it looks. And if I edit it, this is the information in it right now. The prefix and the current sequence number is 80. Then I've also added in a store procedure. The store procedure is named Identify Computer. And if I look at the code on this store procedure, it's basically doing two things. First, it will check if there is an existing machine already in the database. If there isn't one, it will actually add one, use the prefix and the current number. And after adding that number, it will bump it up by one. So what it basically does is that if I deploy a machine, that is already known in the database, it will do nothing. It will simply just use the existing name. But if the machine is unknown, this sequence will actually generate a computer name, insert it into the database, and then assign it to the machine itself. And the code required to do this in MDT, it's basically just rules. So this is the code required to call a store procedure. That's all you need to do. Add that to the uh, rules file. And then you have to do one more thing. You have to set permissions. Because just because you have read and writes to a database, it doesn't mean that you are allowed to execute a store procedure. So on the store procedure itself, if you go properties, if you go permissions, you should make sure to assign a user, in this case build account, with the permissions to actually execute that store procedure. 